as a feminist, yeah. right, mm -hmm. and a, a co-founder of the Women's March, how do you feel about Amber Rose's slut walk? I mean, I think that there's a such thing as feminism and being free to be who you are and our sexiness does not mean that we should be raped we should be able to be who we are but then i think there's a such thing as mess like some of it is just messy and the slut walk piece is cool you know to a certain degree i'm with it but when it gets to the point that young girls are being taught that uh you know we don't need to have a certain amount of decorum and uh, and respect for ourselves is very dangerous. I think that there has to be a balance within all things. Um, just like I said about this whole Nicki Minaj paper magazine cover, I'm just trying to understand what's the goal. Like, what exactly are we selling? I understand you coming into an industry, trying to use whatever you have to get put on. But once you gain a certain amount of success and a certain amount of power, at what point do you begin to step into more of a role model perspective where you're like, I, I have broken the glass or the ceiling. I bust through the ceiling enough to provide opportunities so that other young women don't have to put forth everything sexy in order to win. So what about the young girls that that's not what they do, but they still have talent? I think is it just a difference between sexy and sexual. Like sexy, but you should be able it's, it's kind of classy. No, I'm just saying, but there's a level of decorum and classy to sexy. I think sexual, when when your whole thing is that you're trying to sell something that's just sexual, I think that's where it gets kind of problematic. And you, and and, and and as much as I am against any rapists, I think rapists should be castrated. But I think when you create an atmosphere around men that you have to be conscious that that atmosphere is being created and you not it's not victim blaming it's not saying that a woman is responsible for anything that you do to her but the same way if i'm walking down the street with a hundred thousand dollars counting in my hand in the middle of the projects i'm 100 percent sure that somebody would likely try to rob me should i be robbed no is it right for somebody to rob me hell no should they be you prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law? Absolutely. And but I understand that it's highly more likely for me to get wrong. And I'm saying, and I think that we're all saying the same thing. It is highly likely, it's all that, but you should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. And that's, and that's what's happening today. It doesn't mean that uh, people can't see why some of these things happen, but at the end of the day, the person's actions are wrong. It needs to be told, and they should not be able to continue to be in a position of power where they can continue to abuse other people or to teach younger producers, younger writers, younger activists, younger anyone that it's okay to abuse people. I just want I just want to start seeing women who lie go to jail. Like actually, I really I really want to see women who are found to be falsifying and who are lying on men and, and, and after they've been thrown through the mud and their whole reputations and everything been thrown and then they find out this woman is lying, I want to see them actually and sell you know how that time. can happen? Men need to stand up, speak up about their stories, and So why can't should, women say No, and, and I think that because there has to be responsibility the responsibility can't be all on women to do everything. We can't be the ones to, to, to put the movement together, lead your movement. Men have to be willing to come forward. And the reason why men are not willing to come forward is the same rape culture that exists that has made women feel ostracized and like they don't want to tell their stories until 10 years later when a lot of women come out at the same time. That is the same uh, behavior that men have learned. If I speak up, other men are going to look down on me. They're going to laugh at me. We all have to be. I don't really think it's that together. serious. I think that men, we don't take it as serious. Like we get no, came on to, we, we get come on to by women and approach. you know, approached by women. And you look at it and you like, okay, you say no, and they're a little more aggressive. You say no, you you don't say, you know what? I want this person prosecuted. I okay. want to see. It, it's and not then that you it's can't okay. bring it up at the same. Then, then it can become it, an issue. But it's not really. The well, thing is, this it has to be an issue to combat when you're telling you me. You're it. telling me that it's an issue when the same thing is done on the opposite hand. That's when it becomes 